The average person has about 10,000 taste buds, and they're replaced every two weeks or so. Taste buds have very sensitive microscopic hairs called microvilli. Those tiny hairs send messages to our brain about how something tastes, so we'll know if it's sweet, sour, bitter, or salty. No doubt that how food tastes is its most important attribute. Food fads have proven that no matter how healthy a food might be, if it doesn't taste good, we're not going to buy it. The one exception, kale, of course. On the other hand, we consume a lot of foods that taste great in spite of their nutritional profile or ingredients. Josh Hahn's Mycotechnology has developed an odorless, tasteless powder called Clear Taste, which is, according to his interview in Wired, the world's first organic universal bitter blocker. It's made from mycelia, the thread-like strands that make up fungal colonies and produce mushrooms. Why is this powder important? This could have big implications for the health of the U.S. sugar-addicted society, he says. It works on the molecular level, bonding to taste receptors on your tongue and blocking signals to your brain that translate to perceiving bitterness. It promises to reduce the sugar content of all of our favorite foods by 50 to 90%. Wow. In 2015, researchers from Belgium saw substantial changes in mice when bitter substances were put directly into their stomachs. Obese mice lost a significant amount of weight over the course of one month, while normal mice ate less and their stomachs emptied slower. When scientists repeated the experiment in humans, subjects who got the bitter treatment felt satiated earlier and absorbed fewer calories. Now, before you get too excited, there is a word of caution. The world's largest flavor houses have been working on similar products. However, to date, they're all synthetic and not as effective to block all 25 bitter taste receptors. The Center for Food Safety is concerned that this product will be used to market to kids sensitive to bitter tastes. Just because something comes from yeast or a mushroom doesn't make it automatically safe, says the center's senior policy analyst, J.D. Hansen. It should still go through the whole testing process that any food additive would. Clear taste is FDA approved under the generally regarded as safe status because mycelia has been in supplements for decades. Mycotechnology submitted their first peer-reviewed paper in July, but they haven't looked at what happens after you consume the product. Bitter receptors are also in our gut, lungs, and brain. In our gut, bitter compounds bind and stimulate the release of peptides that tell our stomach walls how hard to contract, our intestinal cells how well to absorb nutrients, and our brains how full we feel. In our lungs, they're involved in the relaxation and constricting of airways. Scientists have hypothesized that blocking the receptor's ability to send signals could have a direct effect on gut function. Bitterness is an essential component of digestion and metabolism. Some warn that it's also important to consider what happens after we take that perfect bitter-free bite. Because, as Megan Molteni writes in Wired, sometimes when you play tricks on your senses, you learn later the joke was on you all along. Danae Larson, lead researcher of a new report published by the National Institutes of Health entitled Increased Textural Complexity in Food Enhances Satiation, looked to see if textural complexity affects satiety regardless of how much time the food stays in one's mouth. The research used specially designed foods with either low textural or high textural complexity. These test foods were identical in nutritional density and in flavor. And since the samples were very small, the time they typically stayed in the mouth was similar. The results? Complex texture in the food shaved about 400 calories from the meal and left volunteers equally satisfied. Chefs and recipe developers have long known about the importance of texture and mouthfeel. Now texture can add another dimension to the food experience and makes food more interesting, enjoyable, and helps us to eat less.